in this video we will discuss about the introduction to c sharp so we will start with what is c sharp c sharp is pronounced as c sharp c sharp is an object oriented programming language which is developed by microsoft that is run on the top of dotnet framework c sharp is used for developing mobile applications desktop applications web applications game development and many more purpose c sharp has its root came from the c family and c sharp is uh, close related to c c++ and java those who are familiar with c c++ and java then uh, c sharp might be an easy task for you c sharp allows us to create secure and robust applications all the primitives uh, types such as int and double which is inherited from the single root object the object is the base class uh, for all the classes in the c sharp and uh, the a class is nothing but it's a building block uh, of c sharp and uh, c sharp support both uh, the user defined reference and value types then now let us understand what you mean by a value and reference type a value type means uh, we are storing the value directly into the memory and reference type means we are storing the address of the memory in which the value is holding for an example uh, from the figure below we can see that s is a string type which uh, which hold a value called hello world means hello world uh, s is a memory block and uh, if it is a value uh, type then uh, this s memory block is directly holding the word hello world but in the figure it shows the reference type here uh, we can see that the s holds certain address of another memory location where the actual hello world uh, is stored is stored okay this is mean by reference type then let us understand what is dotnet architecture c sharp programs runs on three main components one is dotnet that is a framework and common language runtime that is clr and along with a set of class libraries source code written with c sharp is compiled into an intermediate language called common language specification this common language specification or cls is one of the important concept in dotnet i will explain in details in the upcoming slides and this il code that means the intermediate language code and their resources that needed to run that code are stored in an assembly with dot dll as extension Before going deep into the .NET architecture, let us understand how source code will convert into an executable file. The source code written in C Sharp or in a, any other high level language is first go through a phase called preprocessor stage. Here the source code will expand its header files like the imported fi import files uh, in the source code. and this will produce an expanded code and also this preprocessor will optimize the code by removing unwanted white space and uh, the new lines and commands this kind of things will remove and uh, an optimized expanded code will produce this code will end into the next phase called compiler and then the compiler will produce an assembly code and this assembly code is next entered into the, an assembler and this will generate an object code usually this object code is in a uh, machine language and uh, this language is computer understandable language and this dot uh, obj file is next entered into another stage called linker or loader by this stage uh, the loader can load the necessary library to the object code to produce an executable file 
and the linker will uh, link these those libraries with the object code and then finally an executable which is a dot dll or ehc file is uh, formed this is how a source code which is written in a high level language is converted into an executable file what is clr clr stands for common language runtime clr is used to convert an intermediate language into a machine code clr uses a compiler called just in time compiler to convert this uh, intermediate language code into native code clr is sometimes referred to as managed code managed code means uh, it have a garbage collector to manage the memory automatically the garbage collector will automatically remove the unused object space and also there are two types of uh, languages are there managed language and unmanaged language c sharp is a managed language and c c++ are unmanaged language in unmanaged language we should explicitly dispose the unused objects now let's understand the, the working of clr in .NET, there are many languages like VB.NET, C Sharp, C++, and many more. For each of these language have its own compiler. In this phase, this compiled C Sharp code is converted into an intermediate language. And this will make the language platform independent. And this is the part where the common language specifications comes into picture. This MSIL will generate a managed assembly code and this will move to common language runtime. CLR will convert the Microsoft Intermediate Language code into machine code by using its compiler called Just In Time Compiler. So, that's all about uh, the working of CLR. CTS means common type system is a standard which specifies how types are declared, used and managed in CLR. CTS and CLS are both part of CLR. Both are allows in cross language communication and type safety. To understand more details about CTS, let us consider an example. Suppose uh, we take two languages from .NET, which is C Sharp and VB.NET. In C Sharp, the integer data type is represented with a keyword called int, and in VB.NET, it is represented as integer itself. So both these are represented as int 32 by the CLR data types. So in CLR, whatever may be the data type is coming from different language, it will convert into a common language. Here, whenever this int or integer is come, it will convert into an int 32 data types. This is how the CTS work. And the next thing is, uh, one of the important concept is namespace. A namespace is consist of one or more classes or in other words a group of class is called as a namespace. Assembly. A group of namespace is called an assembly or one or more namespaces is called as assembly. A group of assembly is called as an application. The figure in the top right corner represent an example for assemblies. Uh, this includes system, system.buffer, system.collections, Microsoft.csharp. These are assemblies uh, in uh, C sharp. And uh, the code snippet just below shows a namespace. And this namespace include uh, multiple classes. 
and this is an example for namespace and that's all with today's section uh, thank you for watching uh, for more videos please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel